San Diego State, they lose to Oregon State 26-9. to This was a sellout game for Oregon State in Corvallis. I was not expecting San Diego State to win this game. So I'm not like super disappointed. But I think it was another game where they allowed big plays, obviously against UCLA. There were big plays allowed last weekend there at Snapdragon. A big run play. I think there was a big pass play. And here, there was a big play as well. I think it was a 75-yard pass right after the Aztecs scored a touchdown. So they just haven't been able to limit those big plays in the last two games against big opponents, their biggest opponents that they're going to face this season. And they made mistakes. You can't make mistakes against good ranked opponents like Oregon State, especially when you're playing on the road. You're not as talented as they are, obviously. You just can't afford to make those mistakes. And uh, Browning had a missed field goal. It was deep, so I'm not going to put too much on him for that. But missed field goal there. There's three points. Jalen Maiden had a touchdown pass that was just thrown too far. It was a touchdown. Like They definitely were going to have a touchdown there. Uh, and he just overthrew his receiver. He threw an interception in the end zone. I know it was late in the game, and you're just trying to kind of force something probably there, but still interception in the end zone. Um, last two games, they've been outscored 61-19 to 19 by UCLA and Oregon State. I was expecting a little bit better performances in both of these games. Um, now, I think they played better this week, so that's a positive than in the UCLA game, but the UCLA game was just downright ugly. This Oregon State game, you know, they hung in there. And I think it, they made it a one-possession game at one point in the second half. Like, they were more in it. But it was still clear as the game was going on. And it's like, okay, there's a mistake. There's a mistake. You're not going to come back from that. And then they allow that big play. And it's just like, well, of course, you're not going to win the game. When you have that happen, you have mistakes that shouldn't have been mistakes. You're without your best receiver, Makai Shaw, who I think it was an undisclosed injury. I did not see what the actual injury was, but he did not make the trip. But that feels more like an excuse. Like you, you can say that. I'm going to say that, obviously. Like they were without, Maine was without Shaw, the best receiver. But even with Shaw, it's not like the offense has been that impressive to me this season. So it would be one thing if with Shaw they were great. That hasn't really been the case, especially against UCLA and Oregon State. I know without Shaw, but against Oregon State, it, I, just, I just haven't been super impressed. And now they're going to play Boise State. Um, Aztecs now 2-2. Two and two. Boise State, they got their first win of the year against South Dakota State, the other SDSU, 42-18. Um, to 18. So we'll see what happens at home Friday night at Snapdragon Stadium. The Aztecs, I think that if they keep building, right, again, the UCLA game wasn't great. I think they played better against Oregon State. If they play better, less mistakes, limit the big plays, then maybe they go beat Boise State. Um, but they're still going to have to play a good game because Boise State, yes, they're one and two. But I think their first game of the year was against Washington, who obviously – ranked at the time. I think they're probably still ranked. One of the better teams in the country. One of the many ranked Pac-12 teams in the country. So, like, one of the losses, it's like, yeah, of course they were going to lose. So, I think this is going to be a good test. More of a fair test for San Diego State. Another Mountain West opponent. Probably, definitely one of the best Mountain West schools going into the season. So I think it's going to be a good measuring stick game. And then they've got Air Force after that. So the, uh, the Aztecs could end up being, what, two and four after these next two games. They could end up being three and three. Hopefully they're four and two. But they're going to have to clean up some mistakes.